and I'm gonna mute myself after we go live. Okay, going live in five, four, three, two, one. Go. Good morning. Oh. Good morning. Uh, 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 we're here to, to commentate and call the, the Joe versus MHT game two. I'm Matt Thornton. Hey, I'm Eric Hunter. And we're both definitely veterans at, uh, at commentating games. Why we're the, doing this at, <laughs> in, the, in the morning when no one else can. Uh, yeah, should be, should be fun. Uh, Joe uh, won the first game by seven uh, with thirty in lost pile. That was the he was playing um, a zero hour, I believe. Yep. Yeah, and Matt was playing Imperial Entanglements. What was a very exciting match? Did you nice. did you uh, did you watch that one? I caught some of it, um, and I saw some of the comments about it, but I was not able to actually watch the match myself. No. Yeah. The. Uh... <clears throat> Joe on his turn one went down with Ray and Heron ship Heron and ship to the system and then Ray to the, the site <clears throat> and Matt on his next turn um, four strained and Matt played always thinking in your stomach to me Ray go missing and um, oh, wow. and Matt had like a pretty fast start and like flipped early and got occupation out early <clears throat> um and then Joe flipped and then eventually invaded Tatooine and then uh, Matt went after Joe on Lothal and there was, you know, there was like eight or nine locations with, with guys at him at all times. It was a really complicated board state and, uh, and both players, you know, had to make a lot of really challenging decisions. Uh, it, was a, it was a really interesting game. <laughs> Um, and it looks like it looks like Joe's waiting here. I gotta say, it, it both players have a lot of range, and I think for it's sure. really hard for either of them to put them on each other player on a specific deck. Right, and also th we're in the the top eight now, so the, all of the decks had to be submitted ahead of time for the rest of the top eight. So they're they're not picking decks just for this matchup. I believe they had to choose their decks ahead of time thinking about like you know knowing who they're going to play and who they might play but i believe they had to submit their decks before they played game one is, i think so that's correct yeah um and i apologize is, is the rule that you have to they're going to be playing these same decks throughout the entire top eight or did they they pick like i'm going to play two these two for the the top eight and then these two for the top four if i get there I believe that from from what I remember in our team chat, and uh, you can probably go back through your yours as well, uh, that uh, the because the Killer Bees have two players in the top eight uh, that they had to uh, lock in their decks for the entire top eight before uh, playing before playing their game one. Okay. All right. So. We're just, so we're just waiting on uh, waiting on on Matt Harrison Trainer can play different. Yep. Uh, okay, the chat is saying that they can play different decks each round, uh, but all have to be submitted ahead of time. Okay, so okay, they're cool. not necessarily locked into these decks, but they do have to lock in decks for each round. Oh, uh, all right, so it looks like here we go. Yeah. So we got he is the chosen one versus hunt down. Oh wow. B uh I honestly didn't I wasn't sure what Joe was playing. Um and I wasn't sure what I like I said earlier, I wasn't sure what Matt was going to play. I know that he has played Hitco in like a shield busting version. I was going to say, yeah, do we think this is the shield busting version or do we think this is more conventional? 
uh, hit co. I mean, we'll see soon enough. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it would be uh, the shield busting version certainly exciting, but I would. I wonder if, if Matt is thinks about if I was to put him Matt on Hitco, my first thought would be he'd probably play shield busting version, and I wonder if he's like, no, from that I'll play a regular version, and then they'll maybe make some misplays or something like that. Sure, sure. Yeah, because if you're Joe, you have to be, you know, ex at least expecting, if not expecting that at late, like you you have to prepare it for it, that because it is it is MHT who kind of like originated the shield busting version of Hitco, uh, so you have to have that in mind. So uh, Joe does the twelve card start, which is pretty standard for hunt down these days, um, and. Matt starts uh, his destiny, like my father before me, and Twilight is upon me. Which there's a bit of a disagreement as to whether, uh, uh, among among people on my team specifically, whether the uh, whether Twilight is the better start for Hitco versus um, just starting regular old Insurrection or, or Walkling, um, really. Um, yeah, I've seen another player start Walkling, and I guess the idea is you'll just be activating enough. Um, because a lot of decks just give up a lot of force these days, and then you have the option to retreat your your lightsaber. Right. Yeah. Um, I mean, that ping retrieval can't be <laughs> discounted for sure. Uh, yeah, Shaw points out in chat that Joe is committing to the bit and, and not pulling secret plans. It was interesting that he used the retrieval to get his starting inch up there. I guess it's a free. Um, it negates Visage for one turn. But you was... Um, I feel like a lot of Hitco players use it to, to get back Anakin Skywalker, which is just has a lot of useful text on it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, usually that's what I, I people are, are waiting for, but... Um... But, you know, uh, the starting interrupt also has uh, useful text on it. Uh, especially if he's playing uh, Choke Raider. Which, speaking of, he used a force push on turn one. Um, which... Usually means that he's getting a, a Twix puller. Ah, uh, sure. But then he... Or Twix. But he did not play it, so per perhaps he he saw that four long wasn't in his uh, reserve deck, and so like he was going for the four long because that seems to be all he deployed this turn. Did, I, did he even search his reserve deck that turn? I guess actually no. Let's see what did he he did. Well, that's a pretty. Uh, he, played, start. he played. I'm your father, and he, he force pushed for something, and then played Forlom, and then drew a couple cards. So it's a that's pretty a, bad start for a hunt down twelve card deck. Yeah, I mean, he's he's going up against a deck that is not giving him enough force to deploy Vader for turn one. So that's, I mean, there's not a play really. A there's only one site to deploy Vader to anyway. But oh, I think I think the thing that you'd want to do the most important thing in twelve card is getting out one or two Twixes. And you're right. Hand. Um, and yeah, so maybe he was just a bad start. So, yeah, you got to feel good about that. Yeah. And MHT did lose his starting effect to Visage. So he was just thinking about retrieving a force before Secret Plan or Coward comes out and mitigates one turn of Visage. Yeah. Yeah. Because he just, he just ditches Anakin's destiny right away. Uh, which probably means that he likes everything in his hand and doesn't want to risk a top top decking something important like like a, one of his presumably two Luke's lightsabers. Mitchy pulls Hawking Bay from reserve, has one in hand. Joe is only activating five force. Um, 
if Matt was inclined, he could deploy something to the Endor site. And knock that down to four? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Oh wow. A turn one visage cancel. That's pretty that's pretty big. Um but it's also he's I mean Joe's just gonna give him that extra force each turn. I assume he's gonna I think he moves Ezra over. That way he'll start activating two force instead. Yeah. Well, that was an excellent card to draw for Matt. Yeah. Joe, you've got to be pretty worried. Right, because there's not much... He doesn't really have to worry about a beatdown when Joe's only activating five force. There's not a, a ton that he can... Maybe maybe an EPP can, can, can clear Ezra, but... I mean, Ezra's going to pay for himself in another turn. So he, Ezra is basically just a, a right. Twix. That can that also canceled visage. That's very good. Yeah. The little I, canceling visage is a little interesting. Um, I mean, it's it's actually very excellent for Matt because Matt had lost game one by turn by seven and so visage just kind of makes the game go faster and make sure that both players have lower differential right um so canceling visage there means it 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 it's it's normally good but it's particularly good when um in match play here when every every life force is going to matter yeah, and you're getting, and, and Matt's going to need to win by eight um, in order to to take the match. Yeah, which yeah, so we, we might be settling in for. <laughs> I imagine Joe, uh, like Hunt Down's a great deck to play when you've you know when you've already won the first game and you need to go in and just close out the game as as quickly as possible because of that constant damage that one ping every player's turn um, means that. The game shouldn't go, uh, shouldn't go too long, but obviously that's been shut off now. So, and unless he can get to a battleground, um, Ezra's gonna also be draining for two. It, well, if 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 Matt wants to pay for it, but that's that's then also uh, gonna force him to pull. Uh, Battle order right away, which that's two shield pulls down, and if this is a shield busting deck, that that could be relevant. Mm -hmm. That's a good point. Uh, and yes, this is game two. Um, Joe won the first one by seven, uh, with thirty in lost pile, and MHT had thirty one in lost pile. Um. Right, so Joe gets out uh, Vader's castle uh, from hand, so must have four long for that. And there goes Vader to the Ewok village. So Joe's flipped, and although without uh, visage, that doesn't <laughs> doesn't have a huge effect on the on the game state. Um, but gets a saber with "I'm your father," and here's the coward. Yeah. Okay. So Matt only drew one card on the previous turn. So if you're Joe, maybe you're thinking he doesn't have the Luke in hand. 
If he has Luke. It's a little concerning. Sure. It's concerning if he does have Luke, or you're saying it's concerning yeah. for MHT yeah. that he doesn't that he did not draw into a Luke. He spent well, he, he has... spent his force on Ezra instead. Yeah, so he spent four on so like one of the plays he could have done was put Luke with Saber to the York village. Visage would still be online, but um Joe would, would have been activating one last force the previous turn. And I think that the Ezra play was very good, but I wonder if the it wouldn't have been better to put the Luke play down. Um and so based off of that, either you know, either MHA didn't have Luke or he just decided that. Um yeah, and so he's just drawing here. Yeah, you had a pretty pretty thin hand, so I think uh, it was I think it was pretty reasonable to th to think that MHT didn't have a Luke there. The other thing is that if he did deploy Luke and try and go to Battle Vader, he hasn't found his Twix Polar yet, and so he would have spent Force rather than draw Force to try to find the Twix Polar. Right. And, uh, so there was and, serious and costs. Sure, and MHT did get a a, a search. Of, of his deck uh, when he got the docking bay so it's possible he saw all of his lukes in there and so we knew that there was not much of a there's not much of a downside to just using the force for ezra oh and there's the twix puller okay so he gets uh presumably yoda's hut here joe noticeably is not used for long this turn Which I'm very surprised at. I feel like yeah. you, you want to be digging for Twixes here. Yeah. Uh, assuming that he didn't forget, it, it, he could just really like everything in his hand and there's nothing that he particularly wants to put back, which you know, if he's got a handful of, of EPPs and characters and ships or whatever that yeah but they're not gonna get deployed unless you have a location now i would think that the yeah so here he is finally using it i'm surprised okay. he didn't do it after one action Here's the battle plan. Joe will not be paying the four screen, I would think. Yeah, he's down to eight cards in hand, so he's if all he's gonna do is is draw this turn, it, it using three to drain for oh well, it's drain it's he's only draining for two there, yeah, because it's the it's a four string minus one, so but it's, yeah, I would be surprised if he actually, yep. And so there goes Mara to back up Vader. Mara with Saber. Uh, and MHT has seven in Force Pile right now. I think he saved five and then did uh, Joe gave him activation with Ezra. Yeah, so... He's going to have 15 force at the, no, he moves Prophecy of the Force to Endor Ewok Village. Is there a reason to do that outside of just recycling that four? Unless he's playing Ewoks, I don't think so. <laughs> God, please let him be playing Ewoks. That would be so good. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so Matt activates up to 16. Um, 
Oh, did he do that on Joe on Joe's turn? Oh, that's why. Yes, he he activated. Yeah, he did it at the very end of Joe's turn, so he activates one more. That's why. That's the reason to do that because it, now it's on a battleground. Uh, the only battleground on table, in fact. Um, so, so he's got quite a lot of force to work with, uh, assuming that he did draw into a Luke and maybe someone to go down with him, like a like a Lando or a Hera would be good, or not Hera, um, Ahsoka. Yeah, Lando wouldn't be great because there's the possibility of a choke. There's the choke, right. Plays the Yoda's hut that he pulled the previous turn. Um, so it seems very unlikely that Joe has a kick here. Um, we haven't seen otherwise... him pull one. What? I was saying, yeah, we have we haven't seen him pull one, and he's got the eight. But but yeah, yeah if he deploys a backup character to Vader's site, um, that kind of suggests that he doesn't have a kick, and he'd be worried about a beat down. Another. Play if he had a gig, another play would have been to deploy Mara to Ezra's site and remove Ezra. That would have um just you know got rid of the activation advantage that Ezra is representing. Um also would have potentially resulted in some overflow if he drew higher, since he outpowers Ezra by one. Um but you wouldn't make that play unless you had the gig because MHC has 15, 16, 4, and could have deployed into Vader. So if you're MHT, you're, I would think you're thinking that Joe doesn't have a kick here. You're also, you're just like, you're under no pressure. Joe's not going to pay three to drain for two, or I, I don't know, maybe, maybe he would He's not doing he's not gonna do that much if he force drains. Um let's see, it'd be one, two, three, two. He could force drain for three. Yeah, now that like, I, if, if you're MHT, you could even just like draw a couple, activate another eleven, have like twenty plus force and de deploy into that. And like really take that site. And well, here comes Luke. Uh, classic uh, Jedi Knight uh, version. And his saber from hand. Which... I would assume oh, I want a clash of sabers on Choke Vader. Okay. So now uh, putting Mara down to back out Vader seems like <laughs> uh, was meant meant to meant to prevent a beatdown and now may end up uh, kind of doing the opposite. Uh, MHT puts a card back on force with like my father before me. We've got nine active now.
And now, now comes Lando, because with Vader clashed, he obviously does not have to worry about the choke. Ooh, you are beaten. But, uh, wow, we got a clash and a you are beaten. And say, okay, so now, okay, interesting. <laughs> Oh, but he, uh, he your canceled. destiny can just lose two. So you are beaten, causing two force loss, which is a lay with blaster rifle and a run Luke run, both from used pile. Well, and I Kira think now Joe doesn't have a gig, and he's going to lose the game. But he's going to lose a lot of force here. He's going to lose a lot of force, but with because of match, unless he feels like conceding the match, it's. Oh wow! What he just elist? He played elist on Mera, and drew a zero. That's insane. How did? There's no way that he knew that was on top. <laughs> and what's that cash <laughs> doing in there? <laughs> Holy smokes! Wow! The that's <laughs> how did that happen? <laughs> Oh, and she it's because she moves for free anyway, because Luke is on the table. Okay. Because Luke's on the table. So the fact that it's a zero doesn't actually does not matter. Um but what are okay. the odds of that being a zero? <laughs> that's that's wow. really funny. He, I gotta say, this is this is real exciting if you're Joe, not only because you escaped that beat down, but I would not put an MHT on having a, a Hoosics here. Well, Vader can't battle in can't Vader and well, Luke. Vader is going to oh, battle no. Ezra. Yeah, yeah, he doesn't have the Hoosics, so that's why he's preemptively battling. Sure. So he, yeah, okay. This is huge. Also, he's he's going to lose Lando. Yeah, because he, he already used the the like my father before me, um, and so he's using that force to battle instead of. Well, he battles for free. He had zero force. Three battles for free. Oh. Right, right, right. Um, a very smart battle on MHT's part to um to do that. There's there's nothing Joe could do to get around that. But um yeah, clash lasts until the end of next turn. The end of your next turn, I think. Yeah. So he will not be able to battle Vader on, on MHT's. And she will not be able to battle Vader on his next turn either. Yeah. He's going to have to peel four here. But um, so Joe can sit there, block that drain. And then he can. Um, he can move to Mustafar to to if he doesn't have anything for Vader. What a turn of events. That's that was a crazy turn. On his on his. Yeah, he can move to Mustafar on his next turn. This turn, Vader has to stay there. But yeah, yeah, so we can. And yeah, that beat squad with Lando uh, going away is not quite as scary. But uh, I'm just checking in on chat. Oh, and Prophecy doesn't give. Joe of force because of the dark side Ewok village text. Yeah, yeah. So there goes Lando. And he loses to some used. Yeah. That man, that was a wild turn. That was a wild I thought, turn. I right? thought I thought Joe, I thought MHD had set that up. Right. He he was making a really calculated decision. It did not seem like Joe was gonna have a um a gick there, so he, he went all in. And then to have that Ellis, that was crazy. Yeah. Uh, okay, Joe plays Van A to Hollow Theater and just draws a bunch. I'm not sure. 
I would have played into the meditation chamber. Um, what's the what's the upside of playing him to the meditation chamber? So he's not at the same side as Forlom. Um, I think Forlom's just so there's there's two ways to think about it. Forlom is creating a lot of value for you. So, so you have to be worried about your opponent deploying a spy and battling at the Hollow Theater. Battling into Bonnie. And if he's at the same side as Forlom, it's almost certain that he Joe would be losing for Lama and Bane, which right. it means that he's power four, has an extra three forfeit, as opposed to Bane being alone. So it, it kind of protects against the counter beat, but it also exposes him to potentially losing for Lam, who's just providing a ton of value. Sure. Uh, so I don't know. I think I would have gone to a different site. That's right. interesting. Uh, chat has a, has a question of, uh, was it right for MHT to play Clash before the battle? Yeah. As opposed to waiting... Well, because you can't Elis during battle. If he, I don't know that Joe plays Elis with with just those three characters there. Maybe he does. Um, because he could be anticipating Clash anyway. Oh, I see. And here's uh sorry about the mess on Vader. And that's gonna hit. Yeah, I'm not sure if the I don't know if there's a dark there's a reason for him to play Clash other than the first action. There's a drain of three because of this, because of the sorry about the mess. Joe loses a no escape, sonic bombardment, and the Phantom Menace, all from reserve. And MHT gets the Hitco peak. Because he is flipped now. That there's uh no, there's no no Vader. Uh Joe, I believe, played Vader from hand directly to the Ewok village, so he still has the uh castle pole. I believe he also still has the Van Ape. So he can pull two more Vaders. Um but the Vanny at least will let him play directly to the Ewok village, but without only activating six, and you're not going to want to move Vader into that. And you're also not really going to be able to have... And there's the Van A pull. He pulls another choke Vader. Um, yeah, you're not going to want to move Vader into that, and you're not really wanna going to deploy him and battle into that unless you can... Have something else to back him with, up with, which with only three force, there's not a ton that you can do with that. So I did play accelerate in the previous turn to, I believe, take an accelerate into hands. Um, and he got yeah. So I would assume he's playing that here. No, oh, and Joe plays secret plans before MHT uh, retrieves, so. He, yeah, heard, he, Joe, he heard all the jokes you were making in chat. and uh... <laughs> That's only aim high. He, he always remembers secret plans. <laughs> he always remembers secret plans. It's aim high that he forgets. So, okay. <laughs> One side of the force at the time.
Yeah, if you're Joe, you you're just you're desperate to find your activation. And I think you just have to eat your drains. Okay, so Joe stacks a card to put uh bionic hand out of play. But that also gives MHT uh a peak at the top two and takes one to the hand. So At this point, okay. it does not seem like MHT is running. Uh, well, I guess if he was doing a shield busting version, he would have started the farm puller. Sure, just to get another auto auto shield pull on the imperial detention. Joke uh, using four long, presumably to dig for. Uh, another Twix or I don't know. Well, he has the he has the yeah the accelerate like you were saying. So, so when he was not very unlucky and it was like one of the six cards he just activated, he should be fine. Yeah, there's the accelerate. So he's got like a. He also peeled three off the top, I think. So it wasn't in there, but it wasn't one of those three. Oh, he has a oh, sense. And he has cool. a sense. Ouch. Although, yeah, no, yeah, that's and it misses. Never. You, you got to remember and down his game text. I was gonna say, yeah, you had four to it. Um. So, yeah, So that misses. I think it's um. Uh... I don't know how many Destiny 1s or MHG's deck, but he was probably thinking about it. And if he had hit, that would have been brutal. Yeah. So Joe's got like a 75% chance that it's in there. There we go. Okay, so Joe gets this Twix out finally, putting him at eight hole activation. If you're Joe here, do you think you just you probably just draw some cards and and pass and just eat the drain for another turn? Yeah, it feels like there's there's not you much else you can do. Unless he's got like Maul with double bladed lightsaber and like a phantom. Menace. Sure. Uh, but even then, he's getting grossly outpowered. Yeah, it seems like you'd probably also need a Gick um, to do that, and then you're burning your Gick on, on that suicide run. And that basically just saves you the force loss for a turn, because MHG... Very well, could just have another Luke in hand and, and throw it down again. Oh, okay. Um, he pulls Vader with Mustafar. And he does he, extra force with the uh, Hollow Theater? That's true. And gets his saber. And I wonder. I'm assuming that he. Oh, okay. So there's the, the downtown plaza. Okay, so he make, plays his own battleground, and uh, so okay, so he's going to move Vader over, presumably. Interesting. Which flips, which flips, uh, which flips him back. Uh, So MHT can move Luke, um, but with MHT could back up Hera and then move Luke over in the move phase. But I'm uh... sorry, how would he be moving Luke? Uh, Twilight is upon me. Has uh, a once per game. Uh, you can 
Oh no, it's oh you have to you'd have to move Prophecy of the Force. Never mind. You have to wait a turn for him to do that. Um they cannot relocate while Luke is there too. That's right. Okay. So he would I guess what he Reading would do cards. I guess he would have to move Luke to the two O. And then can you move and relocate at the same turn? Is a relocate a, a normal move? A relocate is not a regular move, but it is a, it is a move. Um, but it, but yeah, you can you can do that in addition to a regular. Yeah. So if he has yeah. the the ability, the card, the Twix Polar that moves Prophecy, he can move Luke over to the two O, relocate it to the two two, and then move Luke over. The downside with that is that Luke would no longer be there. He would potentially be leaving Hera alone unless he adds right. back out. So he would kind of want to add either move Hera over to the 2 0 as well. That would yeah. give Joe an additional force because of prophecy would no longer be at the Ewok village. I think mm -hmm. it's more like that he just tries to battle into Vader with something. Yeah. Which out of Hitco, your options are going to be Obi Wan. With Saber, he still potentially has Lando. Um, the, the, although with Choke Vader, you're not going to be able to do that. Uh, the the clash trick too much more. So, yeah. Um, it's right, a MHT. little. No, go ahead. I was going to say it's. I think it's interesting that Joe settled on Choke Vader's here. I think. The other Vader is a little bit more common, the one that cancels game text and who's also immune to Sari and Clash. Mm hmm. Which, uh, yeah, he's this Vader has been both sorry and clashed this game. Yeah. And has not been able to choke anybody. <laughs> uh, so people in chat were theorizing that, that he may have uh, been putting MHT on no idea, as Choke Vader has potentially more impact in, in that matchup. But and Matt Matt puts a card on force pile, bringing him to fifteen active with a uh, nine in hand to come down at uh, the lone Vader at the at the plaza. Oh, Greg, I, I see you were thinking about the move. I, I wasn't looking at the Twitch chat, so I don't apologize if I missed that. All right, so here comes Obi with lightsaber to Vader's sight. And Princess Leia to add a destiny. She's not immune to being choked. No, but she put he puts uh, Lando down as well. So one of them is going to get a destiny through, uh, presumably, unless he's got a a, a sniper, or a dark strike uh, to get rid of one of them. Yeah, and a and a chewy protector too, just for for good measure. So he's got twenty one power at Vader's sight. And a lightsaber. And presumably two Battle Destiny that will actually get drawn. Joe preemptively playing the Weapon Love Shield. Well, Joe really needs the kick here. Yeah. And we got we got the battle. MHC draws a four and a four for Obi. So Vader's hit and forfeit reduced to zero. Do you have a yeah, I don't know if you play sorry here. I don't think you would. I don't I wouldn't. I mean you're 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 hoping for a, a game ending beatdown. Uh Joe going to choke Chewy. And draws a three. So that's Good the choice. only character that he would have choked. Okay. All right. Yeah, that's 
That's also a pretty strong indication that he has a gick. Yeah, because he, he's Otherwise, just trying he to... would have gone for Lando. Yeah. Yeah, he's just... So he definitely has the gig here. He's just going for the most likely hits. I think there's an argument that you would have... Uh... There's like a small argument that you maybe would have gone for Obi-Wan. But if you're MHT... If, let's say Obi-Wan was hit, MHT could have forfeited Leia. And then, again, just send Lando. Oh, wow. He has the sorry. He's got the, he doesn't he's have got the dark. Uh, not, no. You wouldn't yeah. play that unless you had get. If you had Gick, you wouldn't play it. Joe's taking a bunch of overflow here. Yeah. And we got a, a six as the first battle destiny. And a five, so I'll put him at 20. So Four, gonna, so yeah, Joe's down 10. So we'll make you the appealing time. Plus the... Plus, plus stack a card. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's a battle listening. And starts peeling. So Joe has 17 left in Life Force to MHT's 23, 7 in hand to MHT's 5. Lost probably most of his space. He lost both the MHT. The Sif Infiltrator and and uh, the Shuttle. So Joe's going to have... He's going to activate 10 here. You can activate additional Vane. And he presumably still has a, a Vader in hand. Um, but... So if the question is, gonna, is he going to be able to do a counter beat here? I feel like the only combination of cards that I'd want to see is like Vader plus Tarkin or Vader plus Boba Fett. When he activates one, he'll have four in reserve. The bottom card... Um, I believe the bottom card is just the Choke Destiny, right? So it should be... And then he, um, he drew a six and then a four for the swing. Yeah. Although he, I think he lost the the four to uh, I can feel the conflict. I think that's what that's what he stacked on there. So it should just be, yeah, the six and then the the three was Tarkin was the choke destiny. I oh, know it was a showed to the four for the battle destiny. Okay, we have the dark mall with lightsaber. Do we have a Phantom Menace, too? So I think it's three, six, four, blank, blank. Joe does not have anyone else for the rebeat or the Phantom Menace, so he's just going to go go in with Maul, takes a swing, he draws a blind six, 
I don't think we've seen that Palpatine team before. Yeah, that's blind. Uh, no, he might have he actually. Well, no, he, he wouldn't have. Had, that wouldn't have been a four long. Uh, all right, so he hits. But we won. And this actually, I think, might be the six because if he did he four alarm last turn, right? Nope, it's uh, oh no, that's that's his. So, I think this is a four unless he did four alarm. Then it would be a six. Yep, so he did flaw. Okay, Only so three overflow. Yeah, site clears three overflow and and MHD flips back. So he did peel our only hopes, which um, maybe MHD is fine with just loot draining for three there for the rest of the game, given he's at 25 cards and he, he just needs to win by eight. And doing three damage a turn is, you know, that's pretty good. He's also going to be retrieving one with this objective. Yeah. Which even if they play even if uh Joe plays out of play, then he has to lose a force to do that. So it's it's yeah, he's got a net four uh life force swing per turn in his favor if everything stays as it is. Yeah, if you're Joe, Joe's got a ten card hand and thirteen down. Why is he putting that card down. Oh, okay. It's found the Hujix, which is going to make it really hard for Joe. Got Dooku from hand and then two sixes from reserve deck. He loses to the drain. And and MHT does hit go things. If I'm MHT, I actually, even though you have the Hoosics, I think you might just like add another character to the village. Yeah. It seems really hard to lose from that position. Like if you're you're ahead on life force. Pretty significant uh, significantly ahead on life force and he's got he's only has 5 in hand, so he moves to battle and moves so I, yeah, I think he's just going to draw. He doesn't he probably just doesn't have anything to put down. Yeah. Yeah, if he did, I I mean, I would go over the, the village there. If you're Joe, you... I mean, the card that you want the most right now, I think, is Gick, so that you can go to the village and stop the drain. Kind of reset the board. It's going to be very hard for Joe to win now that he has a Hujax. Yeah. He. Oof. Um. Assuming he doesn't does not run a second. Um. 
visage. I was I was wondering if we were going to see that anywhere, but I think it's probably just the one. And when that's canceled, that's that. And MHD gets his retrieval. Retrieves his uh, starting round. Got to protect against that choke. Yep. And it draws up to nine and passes with uh, 17 down. So Joe, yeah, it looks unlikely that Joe will win this game, but he can, if he can keep MHT to seven or below, he's got it. So... Uh, activates... Four lawns for something, uh, and then activates the rest. I didn't see what what I uh, I'm not sure what he would have four lawn for, but maybe did, were you paying enough attention to know what what that four lawn was for? He he knew what it was. And he drops aura and Kylo with saber to the village. I haven't been paying that much as much attention. It could be a force field. That would make sense. We did see that, which probably means he doesn't have a gig. But I thought the order. I'm just saying because he deployed two in front of them and got the force field that stops the swing. So I don't know. Because MHD has a pretty full hand and a lot of force to. Do something with it now. He has another sorry or clash. Um, I don't. I don't think Joe has a kick here. No, I don't, I don't think so. If he has another sorry or clash, another card. That'd be really great for MHD. Is so just another rubble so that Hera would add a destiny. Oh, um, sure, yeah. There's no Imperials there, and then if I'm battling, you know, I would the card that I would play around Force Field, and I would just swing at Aura and be like, yeah. okay, you have you get that extra two forfeit from having Kylo out. Or having Kylo forfeit instead of Auras. Sure. Some some suggestions from chat is uh, another. Sorry about the mess. Or uh, Auni Ta for Obi. All would be or draw their fire plus Lando. Sure. There's a lot. The MHD has a lot of options. Certainly. <laughs> He's definitely playing in the he's just definitely in the driver's seat for this game. I do think Joe made he has to affect the board stay in some way. So he was making it. You know, he's taking a risk by deploying these guys. But, but it's a risk you have to take. Yeah. Right. The math is it does not work out for him unless he does something. Interesting that he's only he's leaving seven in reserve. He did, I mean, his previous turn, he put one down like my father, and then he played Escape Pod. So we know that MHC knows the bottom card of his deck and the second to bottom card, which is the five. Uh, yeah. I imagine maybe, unless he's playing somehow to get to three Destiny. Or if he gets two swings, one, two, three, four, and three destiny. Right, but you'd have to deploy. I'm yeah, I'm imagining he's 
based off of this, he's going to be deploying like Obi Wan. Yeah, he, he could. If he does Obi Wan and Lando, that's that's two swings and three destiny. Yeah, I don't think he is. Oh, here's Han. Oh, there's Han. So that's a shot and an extra destiny. No, two extra that's, destiny. Yeah, so it's he's he's giving himself the Hera redraw on any potential one. Sure. Okay. So it's the one, two swings, the shot, three destiny, and the Hera redraw. Yep. Yeah. And Corrin is an extra three because he's got a bounty hunter there. It's. I don't. I don't know how much that's going to come into play. I. I guess Joe, Joe, depending on what he draws, Joe could peel here, but we've, we're thinking he probably has the horse field for Kylo. Um, yeah, I mean, with Kylo's forfeit of seven, that's 17. And then, the, so he's going to be taking, each would get a, if you say that they're two, each of them get a destiny, right? Um, MHC is still up by two destiny and and like oh he's got even more power yeah he's got he's a, he's a oh, corns yeah corns didn't include until the battle started yeah so like even including if you add Kylo's forfeit to the power that's seventeen to twenty two that's a difference of five and then additional two destiny that's how much overflow Joe is like looking at unless he has a gig and I I can't imagine he has a gig. And uh, he just, so yeah, Luke swings a Kylo. So it's not the force field. Uh, I didn't, I, that's on that I saw that I was like aware of, but the way Joe had lost force, it didn't look like it could have been. Well, it's actually window for Joe. Yeah, there's the force field. Yeah. And it gets grabbed. And it gets grabbed. Makes sense when you're this low on life force, like just. Yeah, I mean that's a good that's a good card to grab in this matchup anyway. So, uh, yeah, take your grabs where you can get them. Yeah, Aura swinging at Luke, three and uh, three wow. plus one just misses. Oof. Han draws just enough to hit Aura. Yeah, so we got 22 plus 3 Destiny. There's... Another sniper dark strike would be really, really big, but I can't imagine he has it. But we'll see. I mean, it would be big. It would it would save him some overflow, but he's like. Still drawing three destiny. Um, I mean, mm -hmm. he is so. Oh no! Actually, he'd be drawing two because if Luke if Luke's gone, um, so and so we're still on Joe for the action window. So nope, it passes. Okay, so we're we're at a battle destiny. First one's a three for MHT. It's a four with father and a Jedi Luke seven. Yeah. He'll redraw. Uh, yeah, and he draws Vase Malbus, which yeah, he will, will redraw. And that's a five plus one six. So 
He's a 39 power. And Joe draws a Grand Moff Tarkin. Yeah, so that that's game, right? Uh, that's an overflow of 26? Uh, 19, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, once once it's it's battle damage of twenty six, overflow of nineteen. Yeah, which that's more than Joe's got. I mean, and it's and you could still have a gig, but I I would not. I don't put him on that. But yeah, even if he has the gig, that's still he has to lose a card to. I feel the conflict, and. Yeah, Tiberius, he knew what the five was because he played Word Doom the term before, so he knew that was there. Um, and and I guess you'd rather peel off the top one with the potential of Hera doing a redraw into the five than keeping whatever random number was on top. Have you ever um, accidentally played, um, lost a gig to I Feel the Conflict? No, I don't believe that's a thing that's happened to me. <laughs> Is there a story there? I Oh, wow, he has it. Oh, he does have the gig. Okay. Well, that changes the complexion of things. Well, yeah, the game's going to continue. <laughs> uh... Yeah, I, I feel like I, there was a time I was playing, I was like on autopilot. And I'm like, I'm just going to get this battle against Hitko. And then, and, and I like just clicked the gick to I feel the conflict. Uh, I don't, I don't remember if, if I got the friendly revert or not, but <laughs> I've definitely lost a gick to battle damage before. I think that was before they added the, there's a thing in Gemp now, I think, where if you do that, you're like, are you sure you want to do this? That's nor not normally how this card is used. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like there should be a second pop up. It's like, are you really sure? Like, you know that this this is this action is for I feel the conflict, right? <laughs> yeah. You should just do that anytime you're about to lose the gick from your hand voluntarily. Like, no, you you, you don't want to do that, right? <laughs> yeah. I mean, try... Let's see. I think he wants to play. I don't. If he hasn't used four alarm here, I think he'll want to. He's what he has like a three three six. I forget. And so, if he's playing a counter beating here at all, he doesn't want those three threes at the bottom. Sure. Could he, yeah. I mean. Knowing he has the gick, drawing those two three threes were, were again when screening against Luke was really unfortunate. If that was just the other way around, right? If it was six four hit Luke, three three to hit another character, I mean she would be left with, with one guy. I mean I mean she still has the Hujiks. Sure. But, uh, at least you'd get that out. And yeah. So we know he ha he has a he should still have a choke vader. That's kind of do you think he just drops the choke vader against Hira and Corin? Choke Hira. And I hope that Corin doesn't oh well, I don't know. Wait, let's I what's do we know what MHD has on top? Uh it's a blank. Or no, we, he knows what it is. It's the card that he put down, like my father before me, for the force that okay. he then used. Right, right. Um, and then he recirculated, and the last destiny he drew was a five. So it's blank five on top. For, from Joe's perspective. Right. And so if MH, if Joe swings with Vader's lightsaber, uh, MHC can lose a force 
to the the swing to I am your father, and then mm -hmm. you can keep the five on top, which will clear Vader. But he, because he's choking Hera, means he's choosing between swinging and drawing a destiny. Yeah, Which so maybe it's now, fine. So it's a blank on top from Joe's perspective. And the question is, did MHT put a five or higher there? He's going to choose a swing. And yeah, he's going to draw those threes. I don't think swinging is the right play here. Unless he has a, a dark strike, then Vader sticks around. Yeah, I mean, I would have just drawn Destiny. Even He's with like, the... I mean, maybe if you've... I don't know. If you have Dark Strike, then, like, Vader definitely lives for another day. But if you don't... Like, you just need something to happen. And so, like, maybe you just want your opponent to not draw... I don't I don't think that Destiny on top is a is a five or higher. And I think that's the case because although if it was higher, MHT would have activated one more force in the previous turn. He loses a he loses something from hand, so he was keeping whatever's on top there. And no dark strike, so Vader does not get a destiny, and right, it's well, a seven. seven. Definitely seven. higher than five or higher. <laughs> Oof. I mean, maybe he was leaving it there in in case of a counter beat. Sure. Yeah, even if Vader he had, clearly had, didn't need any more um, overflow, but yeah, with that with that seven, it means that Vader was was going in one way or the other. And now Joe's got to lose to I feel the conflict. And that's Joe's third Vader that's on table now, right? Mm -hmm. So he it's possible it's possible he plays four. Um and there's one more, but he's Yeah, I didn't. I didn't like swinging there. I guess he was. I mean, it, it wasn't going to matter. But if he didn't, if he just had drawn destiny, I guess the card he's playing around by swinging is playing around. They're tracking us. These corns immune less than three. Sure, but I still think you just draw one destiny, and then you can fall on for. One of the two guys. Yeah. Okay, so MHT starts his turn with five in hand and 17 down. Joe's got three in hand and nine down. Yeah, Kyle, uh, Corin beating down Vader, just like in the movies. Yeah, I think, yeah, I would have, in hindsight, I think, choke Corrin and then just draw Destiny. Hair is not immune. But sure. him having a seven there means everything was going to go anyway, but.
both players at about 10 minutes, 40 seconds. Time is not going to be a concern here. Mm hmm Although there are no characters at Battlegrounds, so there's not any damage happening currently. Shaw says the bigger deal is not letting MHT get to his five. Uh, but but it's moved because he stacked a seven. Okay, we have Andor coming down to Van A and Forlong site. And Obi-Wan. Okay. So now that Joe has burned his gick, MHT is going in for the kill. Um, I'm not sure what Joe has that can uh, save him from this fate. Yeah, I mean, the only thing that would really help him is like a dark time. To prevent Cassian from canceling the destiny. That, that way Joe would just have to peel too, but... And again, MH, so the bottom card is a seven, right? So I mean, she's decided to leave the seven for a defensive battle rather than try to use it offensively, hmm. which I think is reasonable, right? If he if he causes any amount of overflow, it's it's kind of doing the job, and the seven kind of makes it really hard for um, I mean, she lose the game, yeah. On the other hand, if he draws a seven and then recirculates, it would be on top anyway. So I don't know, maybe he's playing around a close call. Uh, all right, so we got a battle. It'll be one swings at Van A and draws a a four and not a zero. Uh, so these are Joe put something back with four alarm while he still can. And four alarm is going to reduce Andor's power, so he's it's eight to four. So counting four lines forfeit, he's at seven. And MHT draws a six about less than eight. So he's got a seven six. He's gonna have a seven six on top once he recirculates. Mm -hmm. So Joe's looking, this is gonna be a three on top, right? Uh he four lumped for one of the threes, so yeah, the other one should be the other three. Yeah, P59. So it should be canceled. Yep. We're looking at um seven overflow once four lumps forfeited. Which is yeah. It's like it's gonna be game. Plus yeah, the plus, plus the stack. It's brutal. And he loses the four line. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think we're going to see a conceit here in a second, right? So, yeah, it's sort of, yeah, and there it is.
So MHT advances to the final four of the MPC. Yeah, that was, that was, uh, was really a wild game. well played by um, MHD. I, I mean, having the uh, Joe not having any choices was was in his opening hand was really hard for him. But then that Ezra play, and then yeah. MHG just constantly applied pressure. Um, yeah, was put, Joe was on the back foot the entire game, pretty much. Yeah. Um, it seemed like he made a lot of um, calculated, I'm going to go in and try to win the game right here, plays. And, um, and MHG just had answers. Mm -hmm. Well, congratulations, MHG, for advancing. And uh, yeah. congratulations to Joe for top eight. For sure. And uh, he'll go on to play uh, Nathan Russell, I believe, uh, the the train. So that'll be the, the top four match. We'll see when that gets, gets scheduled. Uh, more uh, action tonight, I believe, right? The, uh, the Charlie versus uh, Logan top eight uh, will be happening later on. So check that out on the PC channel. And uh, yeah, thanks everybody for watching. Yep. I, I, I got to go now. So um, take care, guys. Take care.